welcome. This is Paris, your weekly access to behind the scenes of Paris Saint-Germain. This week on the programme. In Ligue 1, we look back on success for the Parisians in Bordeaux, notable for a stunning Neymar brace. Our offensive players scoring goal always is, is good news. Then it's the perfect opportunity to ask Maurizio Pochettino about his return, the Argentine coach's special relationship with Paris Saint-Germain. I live, I think, one of the most uh, beautiful periods in my career. Finally, we'll head to the Comte des Loges with Eric Junior Dina Ibimbe to discuss his journey from training centre to the first team. There are some difficult moments, especially those first years at the academy, but you have to stay strong. Just before the international break, Paris Saint-Germain had one last Ligue 1 rendezvous, round 13, so on a away day in Bordeaux. Les Parisiens met at Bourget Airport to fly down to La Gironde in the southwest. A journey made without Lionel Messi still nursing a knee injury. Marco Verratti also missing, alongside Fresnel Kempembe and Leandro Perez in the treatment room. On the face of it, Paris had little to fear from Les Bordelais, who were without a victory in 12 consecutive matches against Les Rouges et Bleus. There was no room for complacency, though. After going three winless away, Maurizio Pochettino and his men wanted to rediscover their winning form on the road. No Messi, but Neymar and Mbappe up top with Julian Draxler in attack. Pochettino made his starting 11 for the battle at the Stade Matmut Atlantique. Paris quickly took control. No surprise that it was the French-Brazilian duo leading the charge on the Bordeaux defence. Mbappe finding Neymar who clinically ended a series of five matches without scoring. Uh, it's important for, very really important for us, I think, uh, for the team and our offensive players scoring goal always is, is good, good, uh, good news. And like buses, you wait for one, then two come along at once. Just before the break, Neymar again linked with Mbappe to devastating effect. Tunnel and Paris in good shape, yet Kaylar Navas was forced into action by Timothée Pembele, but the scare passed without punishment. Despite being deprived of certain starters, Ander Herrera was at the coalface in the engine room. Well, I played number six today, I was a bit defensive, I saw more of the ball, I had to help out Marquinhos and Tiro Carrer. I worked a lot in front of the defensive line, and in any situation, I'm here to help. I'm here to adapt to what the coach needs, so it's good. I'm very happy. As soon as they returned from the changing rooms, Paris resumed their march to victory. Mbappe determined to get himself on the score sheet. Kaylan Navas focused on keeping a clean sheet. The Costa Rican focused on the task at hand, while well, the World Cup winning Frenchman saw his efforts rewarded. Three nil up with a quarter of the match left, it appeared to be over. Well, we played well, we controlled the match for 70 minutes, but we must improve how we finish. After dominating for 70 minutes, the Parisians took their foot off the gas. A drop in focus and concentration, Bordeaux able to profit.
Paris shaken but not broken at the final whistle. PSG's 13th win of the season. Of course, not all perfect, but the team continued to win. It's very important to increase the gap ahead of second in the table. Of course, uh, we are not uh, happy uh, complete because I think considering two goals um, always is, is a thing to, to see. Maurizio Pochettino was named the coach of Paris Saint-Germain last January, 20 years after having led the club as captain. A rare path which makes the relationship between the Argentine and the club rather special. I think it was great. It was, a, it was an amazing uh, um, return. Um, 20 years ago, when I was a player, uh, I lived, I think, one of the most uh, beautiful periods in my career. I discovered how amazing it was uh, to live in Paris, to live in, in this uh, football club. Um, and now, for me, it's, uh, it's great. And to, to, to live this experience is amazing. I think you never know. I think always it's different because your position is different. You know, it's not the same to be a player and, and to be a coach. I think you um, keep in your mind the, the, the idea of the club when you were a player, but that the, the evolution, that change. 20 years have passed, but Pochettino remembers playing in Paris as if it was yesterday. Well, I think the first day that I arrived, the first goal when I scored in Parc de France, uh, to have the possibility to to show him player like uh, Okocha. Okocha hits it. Beauty! Uh, Ronaldinho. Away from Drogba. Ronaldinho. Oh, lovely flick. And it's opening up for him. Ronaldinho still! That is magnificent! To be in Parc de France with our fans, that they were amazing. Um, I don't know, many, many memories. I remember when I scored in the, in the cup, uh, the 2-1 that we won in, in Parc de France, and then the 3-0 in, in Marseille. You feel the, the adrenaline when you play this type of big games, no? Uh, and Marseille, Paris Saint-Germain, Paris Saint-Germain, Marseille are one of the biggest games in the, in the world and the most expectation is more than a game. The atmosphere of Le Classic remains as do the stars. Today, Neymar, Mbappe and Messi, before it was a coach Ronaldinho and Anelka. I hate to compare the player because um, we are talking about the best player in the world. And this 20 years ago was, uh, of course, uh, coach Ronaldinho and Anelka, uh, many players that uh, were amazing. And now we are talking about uh, Neymar, Mbappé, Messi. Little Messi! It's Neymar with the goal! There's the opening goal, Kylian Mbappé! Mbappé! So clinical! And Neymar scores! Little Messi! You cannot go higher than this, this level of, of play, you know? I think you cannot teach this type of guys uh, how we need to behave on the pitch. I think they have an, an amazing talent that the only that they need is time together to, to start to create this uh, type of league. And, but you cannot teach uh, these great players. I think they are clever enough to, to know what they need to do. Uh, I think they feel the responsibility too because, you know, uh, uh, to be in Paris Saint-Germain is about to, to win. Great player, always uh, need time to create the contact, create the, the links to after to, to enjoy football and because they are in the same page.
And who says top-level players need strict management? Pochettino's objective is clear, favouring alchemy between his stars. Because football is about the collective, it's about the team. You need the artists, you need the, the people that do different jobs. Uh, uh, that is, I think, the challenge. But, of course, happy when players um, that are in a different position can help to the team to win because the midfielder need to arrive uh, to the box, need to score goals during the season and help the team and not only the responsibility in the offensive player. Pochettino proud to manage the club he knows so well. For me, Paris Saint-Germain is only one option is to win next, next game. If not, you are in, in, a, <laughs> in a problem. I know what's happening this type of club, uh, and you need to be focused in the next, the next game, and you need to win. And on the end, you need to deliver some, some big things, and, and of course, uh, all the people is waiting for us to deliver the big things, uh, winning the Ligue 1 or uh, the Copa de Francia, or winning the Champions League. Yes, I, I see the people start to realise how big is Paris Saint-Germain. 50 year old, but big. Um, in the last year, OK, it was about to collect uh, titles, about uh, domestic titles, trying to dream winning the European Cups. And of course, the Champions League is the most uh, desired title that tried to, to deliver uh, this football club. Paris Saint-Germain today is a, is a massive contender uh, to win. And the, I think the, in the last years, I think people start to realise or realise, already realise that uh, how big is, is the club. After a perfect start to the season, marked by nine wins in as many matches, Paris Saint-Germain women had their first huge test of the campaign when they welcomed Real Madrid in the Champions League. On this occasion, the champions of France received the Madrid club at the Parc des Princes. Well, it's an honour for us to be able to play at the Parc de France tomorrow night to face this great team. We're going to try and enjoy the occasion, but also give everything possible to the fans who will support us. But there was no question of being distracted by the surroundings because there was a match to win. Real are a very well-organised outfit. Like all Spanish teams, they're fond of the ball. They have a lot of possession thanks to their technique. Particularly, they also have a top Danish striker who they can go direct to, so it'll be necessary to play a really good match. The message well received. The atmosphere inside La Parc was electric. And the Parisian went on the attack. From the start, they were rewarded just 50 minutes thanks to Marie Antoinette Katoto. Well, it was as if we knew the Parc des Princes. It was Real Madrid, and it was as if we've seen over the last few days packed to the rafters. A stadium full of passion. Our fans, the 12th man, took us to another level. Roared on by the supporters, Didier Ole Nicole's side didn't let their grip loosen, instead hammering another nail into Real's coffin before the break through the opportunistic Sara Tabritz. There was no let-up after the break. Marie-Antoinette Catoto with a fine finish. The Parisiens' plan working to perfection. Well, it was necessary to deprive them of the ball as much as possible because they're such a good team with top players. So we did what we had to do with our counter-pressing and transitions. Real succumbed once more under incessant pressure as Rocio Galvez added her name to the score sheet. The park relaxed. Paris had won it. Well, the team on the front foot, while our goal remained intact, and that's the hallmark of a team who work hard and function well as a unit. Wow, it's huge. There's a lot of pride above all. Everyone came out to support us. It was incredible.
Coming up on This Is Paris, a look back at the Paris under-19 stunning show against Evreux. Then we meet Eric Junior, Dine and Bimbe in his journey to the top team. Only five days after having swept aside Real Madrid in the Champions League, the Parisienne had a meeting with Lyon in a top-of-the-table clash. But it was clear that the French champions were not in top form. A consequence of a tough week, it meant that it was the Lyonnais who impressed on their Gironde pitch. Paris tried to respond, but in the OL goal, there was an inspired Christian Endler. And finally, with a quarter of an hour played, it was Lyon who found the breakthrough, helped by the whistle of Silvia Domingos. One nil quickly became two because just three minutes after Katarina Macario netted from the spot, Daniel van der Donk struck. In the second half, the roof caved in as OL plundered more goals. Melvin Mallard heading in for 3 0. And while Paris put up quite some fight, Marius Ergorola added her name to the score sheet as Paris were sinking without a trace. Despite all that, the Brésilienne refused to throw in the towel, showing fight to hit back, but it was a short-lived revival. Ada Hegerberg netting a late brace to end any slim hopes of a comeback. A painful defeat and the first of the season for PSG. A response was expected. Three weeks after drawing at Drancy, the Paris Saint-Germain under-19s were at home to Evreux with the aim of getting back on track in the league. Zumana Camara's boys wasted no time in getting started. Wilson Odebar needed just 40 minutes to open the scoring to kick off the party. Less than four minutes later, Evreux cracked by conceding an own goal before Odebar grabbed his second. nil at the break, but the players showed that wasn't enough for them in the second half. Yes, Uzni clinical before Odebert wrapped up his hat-trick, 11 days shy of his 18th birthday. To be outdone, Uzni also went on to complete his own treble in a one-sided affair, 7-0 as the young Parisians strengthened their place as league leaders.
21 years old, Eric Junior Dina Ibimbe knows Paris Saint-Germain like the back of his hand. Part of the top team for the first time this season, he's known Paris since arriving at the academy at the age of 12. It was my first year at 17. It was my first year with the under-17s under the tutelage of coach David Beshkura. It was the first year of transition from the pre-academy to starting at the training centre. It was the first year when I started to move up the ladder here at PSG. Well, at that time, it wasn't easy for me because I was making the transition to the academy. You start to grow up, there are physical problems, you can't necessarily do everything you want to on the pitch. The coaches are more demanding, there are more expectations and the competition is twice as tough. So of course, all of that means you have many doubts. There are difficult moments, especially during the first years at the academy, but you have to remain strong mentally and work hard to keep believing. Determined and focused, the Stans native in the Paris suburbs took his time to progress through each stage. Well, it was during the Youth League, it was where we played, and it was against Bayern Munich. It was a change from the domestic scene, the first international competition, so to speak. You discover a new level of intensity, playing against stronger opposition. There's real pressure for the first time that arrives because expectations are high. And it's where you start to really understand that you're taking your first steps in your career. Another important milestone, signing his first professional contract. The midfielder putting pen to paper in July 2018, a first career landmark. Well, when you leave your club, where you were, when you leave your family, you know you're coming here with an objective, and the objective was clear to me. It was to arrive and be a professional. It's something that's never really left me. I've always had it in my sights, and thanks to God, I've been able to sign that contract. So proud of it. My family also have helped me to achieve this success. I'm very happy about it. I hope to continue like this. I don't want to disappoint them, so I want to go in search of even more. And to motivate himself, he can count on the example of Presnel Kempembe, who rose from academy to become world champion. Well, the luck that I've had, and others have had, is that we're all able to follow the example of Kempembe. We know how he's come, how far, the journey to get where he is today. We're aware that even if you don't get the recognition you want, you have to keep going. You've got to continue to work. And me, I've nearly had the same path as him, that's to say, I was not always a starter in the youth side. I didn't have the position I deserved, or rather, I thought I merited. But these are examples which give you the desire to continue to believe in yourself. And indeed, I use the example to keep working hard. With willpower as well, like he showed when signing on loan at Le Havre at 19 with the club in Ligue 2. That's a decision that came because we were on the same wavelength. We made it clear to them after a year in the fourth tier where we played that I was ready to integrate into a professional setup. Not specifically to play, but to start learning my trade. So when I had the opportunity to go to La Rave, I didn't hesitate, and in part that's thanks to coach Paul Le Guen. At the time, PSG thought it was a little too early because I'd just played at the amateur level and I was only 17. They believed it was too early to go out alone, but for me, I was persuaded that I was ready to go among a professional group. So we came to an agreement, and I rushed to love without question, without apprehension, and it went really well. The first loan was followed with another at Dijon last year, this time discovering for the first time Ligue 1 and, of course, the field of the Parc des Princes. Oh, well, that was... It was last year against Paris. 
And at a club like PSG, it gave me the desire to believe even more and work harder to be able to come back to this club and establish myself. Eric Junior Dine Bembe is on the right path. He's the confidence of Maurizio Pochettino now to continue on this path, focused and determined as always.